Is all that rain in the forecast going to ruin your universal vacation? Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. If you're new here, on this channel we talk about all things theme parks, including updates, news, and even tips and tricks for your next theme park vacation. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. When you picture your universal vacations, you probably picture beautiful, perfect, sunny skies. And the fact is, you probably shouldn't because <laughs> in Orlando, it rains quite a bit. So what we figured we'd do in today's video is we would talk about what you should do if it rains during your universal vacation. The first thing you should do is come to the parks prepared. There are a couple items if there's rain in the forecast that you should bring with you. And the first item is a poncho. Don't worry if for some reason you forget your poncho. Universal will happily sell you one for twelve to fifteen dollars. We also suggest that you bring plus tax. <laughs> that you bring at least a change of socks, if not an entire pair of shoes, because your feet are going to get sore from all the walking, and soggy feet are so much worse. Trust us, we're talking from experience yeah. here. We got caught in a torrential downpour at the opening night of HHN this That's year. pretty hard. And our feet were so soggy. I honestly don't think my feet have recovered yet. It was so terrible. My feet absorbed so much water, it felt like the skin was going to crack open. That is just <laughs> absolutely attractive as it can be. I promise it felt even worse than it sounds. So please bring a change of socks, bring different shoes, wear some kind of sandals like Chacos, but whatever you do, just don't walk around in soaking wet tennis shoes. You'll thank us later. It's also a good idea to bring Ziploc bags with you when you're expecting rain. You probably have a couple items like your phone and your wallet and maybe even like your park ticket. A sandwich? <laughs> that, that just don't need to get wet. I always carry my three o'clock chicken sandwich with me. <laughs> and Ziploc bags are a really easy way to make sure that your stuff stays dry and protected. When you're planning for a rainy day in the parks, it's important to try to understand the weather in Florida. I say try because I just don't think anybody really understands the weather, no. but you can try. Um, you're definitely going to have days that are just a washout where it just rains all throughout the day. That's just the facts of life. However, most of the time in Orlando, what you're going to see is these like afternoon showers that last anywhere from say 15 minutes to maybe a few hours. So the best thing you can do is plan your day around the weather. Some ways to do this are by heading back to the hotel for an afternoon nap or making an early dinner reservation in City Walk. Or both. Yeah. <laughs> but the important thing here is that you find somewhere to wait out the rain and then once it clears up, you make your way back to the parks. Because one of the nice things about rainy days is that it thins out the crowd some as well. Yeah, it's like when it rains, a lot of people just head back to the hotel and they're just done for the day. Yeah. And another thing is locals don't normally come when it rains because they don't have to go when it rains. Um, so what does that mean? That means no wait times anywhere. You won't have wait times for food or rides. Some of the best days in the park are when it rains. When it comes to inclement weather, there are certain rides that will shut down depending on the situation. Yeah. The taller roller coasters like Hulk and Rip Ride Rocket will sometimes shut down even if it's just too windy outside. So if there's a front moving in and it is expected to be a little windy in the parks, we would suggest heading to those first thing in the morning. This is just good advice in general mm. too. Like we said, with Florida weather, a lot of times the rain doesn't move in until later in the afternoon. So if there are certain outdoor attractions that you're wanting to experience, yeah. we would suggest doing those first while the weather is still nice. If it's just raining at Universal, but there's not any lightning or thunder in the area, they will keep the majority of the rides open. And if this is the case, we fully suggest that you embrace the rain and make the most out of it. We've never had the chance to ride a roller coaster in the rain, but we think it sounds like so much fun. Whoa, 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 with that wee stuff. You must have a mouse in your pocket because I don't think it sounds like that much fun getting hit in the face by rain going 70 miles an hour on Velocicoaster. Okay, maybe Hagrid's would be a better idea. Maybe Seuss trolley. In the rain, but I think it sounds like fun. But regardless, 
Another good idea, if it's already raining and you're already getting wet, you could take that time to go ahead and ride the water rides as well. But we will say if the rain is too hard or if it gets too windy, they will shut down pretty much all of the outdoor rides. If you do get unlucky enough to get caught in a full on thunderstorm. Seek shelter. <laughs> Universal, there are still some ways to make the most out of your trip. And our biggest tip for stormy days is to head to Universal Studios. Yeah, that's just sort of a rule that we live by, I guess. Um, like sunny days, we're gonna be in islands. And then like days that it might rain or that it's raining, we're gonna be in studios. Like we don't mean that literally like, if we're down there for a week and it's sunny every day, we're not just sitting there like, oh, rain, so we go to studios. We split our time like kind of evenly, but we do plan according to the weather that day. In Islands of Adventure, only six of the 18 attractions. That's 33.3% .3 repeating, of course. <laughs> only six of them are indoors, and one of those is Poseidon's Fury, which isn't even currently operating. On the other hand, at Universal Studios, 12 of the 15 attractions like are indoors. So if you head to Universal Studios when it's raining, there are a lot more things for you to do. On days where there is rain forecast for the afternoon, it can be a good plan to start in Islands of yeah. Adventure and get everything that you wanna get done there first. And then when it starts to rain, or if you finish everything in Islands, you can make your way over to Studios because like we said, there's a lot more that you can do in that park once the rain actually starts. But aside from the rides, there are several other indoor things that you can do in yeah. the parks on rainy days. And of course, the first one that comes to mind is catching a show like Animal Actors or The Bourne Stuntacular. Or a makeup show is a good one. This is another place where studios beats islands on rainy days because unfortunately, there aren't any indoor shows in Islands of Adventure. I was sitting there thinking that and I was like, I don't think there's any, the only one I can think of is Poseidon's Fury and it's not running right now. But another good idea for rainy days is to uh, jump into a restaurant and get yourself a bite to eat, <laughs> which is probably our preferred method of dealing with rainy days. Rain also makes really good shopping weather and there are plenty of places in both parks to shop for days. City Walk also has a ton of stores that can keep you entertained as well. Another fun idea, especially if you have kids is to check out one of the arcades. There's actually kids. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not necessarily. Let's go. <laughs> There's actually an arcade in both Universal Studios and in Islands of Adventure. In Universal Studios, it's located between The Mummy and Louis Pizza. Yeah. And in Islands, it's right there between Doctor Doom and Cafe Four. If there's rain forecast for the day that you're visiting Volcano Bay, don't worry. Yeah, I mean, you're at a water park. <laughs> These attractions don't shut down when it's raining. Water. It does have to be either uh, thundering or lightning for the attractions to shut down. Plus, you're at a water park, so you were probably already expecting to get wet, and what's a little bit of rain? If you weren't expecting to get wet, <laughs> got something to sell you. But if there are thunderstorms forecast for the day that you're visiting Volcano Bay, we would suggest calling Universal and talking to them about your tickets. They're usually very good about working with guests, and as long as you call beforehand, they should let you change your dates. Yeah, like, don't activate your ticket, like, going to the park, you're halfway through the day, you've ridden Make You Pooey, like, eight <laughs> times. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, and then expect them to, like, accommodate that, but, if it's like the night before and you look at the forecast and it looks like it's just gonna be a washout, they are generally gonna be very helpful and make sure you're taken care of. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know if a tree falls in the woods and nobody hears it, does an angel get its wings? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching, probably.